To get started editing Bone 2, you'll need to download the project source files, Unity 2021.2.6, and Unity Hub, all of which will be linked in the description. Once your files are downloaded, extract the RAR in the place where you want your project to be in, and open up Unity Hub. After opening Unity Hub, you'll need to create a Unity ID and login, then you'll be sent to the Projects tab. What you want to do first is go to this gear icon where it says Preferences, go down to Licenses, click the Add button, and select Get a Free Personal License. You'll need to install Unity 2021.2.6 to run the project files. Once you've opened the link, click Install this version with Unity Hub, or install the Unity Editor itself by clicking Unity Editor 64-bit under Component Installers Windows. Once you've found the editor and installed it, you'll need to locate it inside Unity Hub by pressing the Locate button in the Installs tab. There, you will need to find the EXE of your Unity Editor. To open the project, you need to assign it first in the Unity Hub by pressing the Open button and then locating where you've extracted the project files. When you find a set of folders that looks like this, click Open and it should be assigned to your Unity Hub automatically and the engine will create the necessary files. This may take a while though. And when the project finishes loading, it should look something like this. Before you do anything though, I recommend you check out the readme file which is located at the root of the assets folder. To make an exe, go to File, Build Settings, and then press Build. Select where you want your project to be compiled to, and then set its name. Unity will also remember where your project was saved to, and when you compile the exe again, it will overwrite the previous one. Alright, and that about covers how to get started with the project inside Unity. In the future, I'll add some more detailed tutorials on how to do some specific things with the project files, but for now, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.